today we are at Memorial Day School right here in Savannah. It's been around for quite some time and I'm here with Jennifer Ferris who is the head of school here at Memorial. Hi Jennifer, it's great to see you. Hi, nice to see you. So Memorial Day School, wow, it's been here for quite some time. Since 1971. Has it been that long? Yes. 1971 and a lot of changes over the years at Memorial Day School. For some of our viewers who may not be familiar with Memorial Day School, uh, start out by telling us a little bit about the school. Okay. Um, Memorial Day School is a small independent school. Um, it is a non-denominational Christian school. Um, we pride ourselves in our small classrooms, our individual attention for academic success. Um, in our lower school, we probably have no more than 12 students in a classroom, middle school up to about 15, and high school up to about 18. So we try and keep our classes small so that our students can thrive in their learning environment. Now, obviously, the school has grown over the years, but uh, because now you have the little school all the way until the senior year as well. Right. So we have from six weeks to six our daycare weeks. all the way to 12th grade, diapers to diplomas. Diapers to diplomas here at Memorial Day School. I love it. And do you find that that is really working in the way to go? Because we're starting to see that in the educational system. You know, it used to be all about starting at kindergarten, right. then it went to pre-K, and then now you see going all the way to the infant level, all the way to And it's graduation. so much fun just to watch the kids grow from the time they're teeny tiny all the way to walking across the stage at graduation. You know, and the transitions that they go through. Absolutely. But it also probably gives you the opportunity to really know that family and know that child all the way through the differences and the changes that they go through so that they can excel. Right. The children are like our own children. We love them just as much as our own children. You know, Jennifer, you've been at Memorial for quite some time. Right. Because now you're head of school here at Memorial. Yes. But that's a different position from where you started. Absolutely. So what me through your timeline here at Memorial. Well, I started in the after school program when I was in college and then I started teaching fourth and fifth grade when I finished school and eventually um, was in an administrative position for lower school and then middle school and then eventually head of school. Wow, so that's quite uh, quite a lot of experience and skill here at Memorial. And so what about some of the changes that you've seen and how Memorial has transitioned from when you first came here um, to where it is today? Um, I think that the educational world has changed so much since I started teaching and our kids just, you know, the the level of academics that's expected has become so much more competitive in our world. Um, colleges, getting into college is so much harder than it used to be when you and I were going to college. Um, kids are expected to know more. Kids are expected to do more in the community. Um, and just that expectation is just so much higher. So we are a college prep school. So, you know, we work really hard to make sure that our kids are prepared for their next level of education. And I'm so glad to hear about that here at Memorial because you're absolutely right. I remember years ago when I was applying to school, it used to be you take the SAT, you fill out the application, and you're in or you're not. But now you have to have a plan, and it's not all about just having the best grades. I mean, although you want to excel mm -hmm. academically, um, it's about the entire person as a whole. They want absolutely. you to have some philanthropy and be a leader and, and see that you're a good fit for that particular college or university. Right. Um, but here at Memorial, you are a college prep school uh, from beginning until graduation. Right. We're busy preparing them for their next level when they step in the door. So how does that work exactly? Give me some examples on when you say college prep here at Memorial, what are some of the things that the kids go through? I think some of the things that are special about us is we work really hard to make sure the kids have a counselor who they can look up to and go to for answers when they want to do things like dual enroll and earn some college credits a little bit earlier um, when they are applying for the SAT and the ACT. You know, kids don't just go and take that once anymore. They take it several times and want that very top score that they can get. 
So we have lots of resources available for our children to make sure they can get the best score possible. And you know, if you're a parent like me, trying to maneuver through all of the requirements these days, not to mention everything is technologically driven. You Absolutely. know, it used to be everybody had their notebooks, their paper, their pen, but now everything is so computerized. Right. I mean, if you're a parent and you didn't come through that time, you need a school like Memorial to not only be there for your child, but to help the parents through this as right. well. Right, and so much is online today. You know, kids can do the dual enrollment and really go to the school of their choice and earn some credit, uh, credit ahead of time. And so, you know, we do offer that here and it prepares them for what's coming. And also, you know, everything you do is online, like you said. And so I remember filling out college applications with pen and paper and writing my essay and mailing it all in. And that's just not the way things are done anymore. And we have someone available to walk our kids step by step through that process. At what age do the kids start today here at Memorial? on you know computers and keyboarding because I can tell you I remember when I came through college we used to check out time and and sign up for time in the library I'm, right. I'm embarrassed to admit that but right. that's what we did we didn't have personal computers right but here at Memorial you start the kids at a young age with keyboarding and, and the computers. kids start in pre-k wow. taking computer classes and you have to have that these days absolutely so they have a computer lab they can go to and we also have carts with Chromebooks on them that they can utilize. Now, in addition to it being a non-denominational faith-based school, um, obviously the academics, the kids are excelling. Are you seeing that as far as like where the graduates are concerned and the colleges and the universities that, you know, they're going to? Yes, our students, um, you know, they work really hard. They have goals set for themselves and they want Whatever school they usually want to get into, we make sure that we do everything we can do to help them achieve their goal. What about opportunities to serve as a leader or philanthropy and building those kinds of um, things for their resume and their portfolios to go into college? Um, I know that there are a lot of extracurricular activities here at Memorial. Right, we have, um, of course, student government, um, we have had various events during the, during the last few, few years, such as Odyssey of the Mind, where students are given a problem, and then they work to, together to solve the problem and go to competitions. We have students who go off to literary competitions um, to prepare, you know, if they're going to sing or debate, so all kinds of opportunities to grow in that, in that way and a lot of community and, and, and volunteerism here at Memorial as well. Correct, correct. So we have students that do all kinds of different things. Last year, we went over to the Kick Ladder Center and um, our students helped spread mulch. You know, that was just one of the few things that we've done. Um, We've made sandwiches for some of the shelters, those kinds of things. But you're seeing this uh, as, as far as being here for many, many, many years, not right. only as an educator, but now as head of school, you're seeing you know a lot of success with Memorial, kids going off to the universities that they want to go off to, test scores really you know at the top and that kind of thing, and, and kids really developing into that entire person. Right. And like I said, it's so much fun because a lot of our kids are here for so long. And so it's just fun to see the people they become. Well, I love hearing so much about Memorial and the direction and that the school is going to. And we're going to be back to talk more about Memorial Day School because we've touched on the academics and, and what Memorial Day School is all about. But guess what? They have a whole lot more to offer. We're going to talk about athletics when we come back. Don't go away.